Gentlemen, lock in right now, okay? <laughs> Our next guest is showing us how you can go above and beyond and put together the perfect bouquet for your special someone this Valentine's Day. Jessa from the Flower Shop in Providence is joining us in studio. Jessa, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. We are so very excited. Charles Montgomery's here also because we figured a boy of course. would be the yes. best to do this yes. segment. Jessa, before we get putting together this bouquet, we want to point out you're offering a guys only class. Tell us your vision for this and all the details so people can be sure to be there. Yes. Um, on February 7th, we have a guys only class to design their own dozen roses for their sweetheart. Um, it's at six o'clock, which is a good hour. We'll have a little snacks and drinks for the guys, but it's real simple, guys. I promise you, it's not crazy. It's not hard to do, which we're gonna show you today how easy this is. They are gonna show you right here, right now, live in studio. So Charles, you come on and step up. Yep, step I'm not gonna up. Need to let Actually you guys take it away. I don't want my presence to add any pressure. Thank you. So Please. good luck, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Jessa, so we get started here now. So you, we have our roses, we have our greenery. What's kind of our first step when preparing this? Our first step is to start with your greenery. We're gonna build a mountain of greenery okay. first for roses. So you're gonna start with these and you're gonna put them all in it one at a time. Just One at a time? Yep, okay. just put them all around your base. Go okay. this way, okay. just spread them all out. That's the fun thing. See, when great. they told me I was coming in this morning, <laughs> I didn't realize I'd really be put to the test. And the here. next thing, we're going to add eucalyptus. I love eucalyptus, and we usually have four or five styles in our shop at all times. So we're going to put one of those in there. All and right. I've already cut these for you, so you, to make this quick and easy, you don't have to cut them. But when you get to the roses, I will cut those. Now, when you. people think of flowers like this, they do. you have your flowers, which are your main feature of this. But like you have the greenery here, is something that maybe not a lot of people people think of with the greenery is something that it's a main feature also. It is. It actually showcases your roses. Now we do arrangements that are just roses, but um, it's nice when you have some beautiful greenery with it as well. And you want to stand okay. this one in the stand center and then the put center. this one on this right. side. And then put this one on the other side. On the opposite side. Over that one. Yeah, the front. put it over okay. there because you don't have anything over there. You're doing great. There you go. Thank you, Peyton. I <laughs> appreciate great. the support. And then now we're going to add another eucalyptus, and this is uh, the baby blue eucalyptus, uh, and you're going to pop it in there. All just, right. Just kind of in the middle in, area. Kind of sideways. Yeah, there you go. And then put one on that side. You just put these all around. Everywhere you can find a little space, put those all around. Jessa, I want to ask now, too, I know we're working with roses right now, which are kind of the, the go-to Valentine's flower, but do you recommend any kind of other greeneries for other flowers? What else is popular this time We do. Um, Pit is really nice. And then we also have the tropical greens, which we love to add to our arrangements as well. Yeah, that's gorgeous. We're really big on greenery. And then now you're going to put this in all the little spots all the okay. way around, just like you did with the other. Just, just fill in all the little hose. Look at this. And then now we're going to make it tropical. Put one more of those in there. And then now we're going to make it tropical. So I want you to go all the way around. And you're going to go sideways with these guys. So put that all the way around. And don't be afraid to turn, turn your vase. Turn it around. Yeah, turn kind your vase Kind of like when you're you mixing play. and making cookies, you yes, turn the bowl. keep turning. You... No, I know some things, Turn Peyton. again. You're doing great. <laughs> you're doing fabulous. All right. All right, and you want to put this one in the center, okay. in the very center. Now make sure your guys get all the way down in that water. That's very important. They Don't have to be in water. In yeah. And then you're going to put this one in the center as well. And then we're going to start with the roses. We're going to get your roses in there. Okay. Now we are. We've got two different styles here. We've got a red rose that has a hot pink swirl, which she's called Panther, and then a normal rose, which is just your solid red. And I'm noticing while we're doing this and we're constructing the greenery, why are we focusing some parts in the center like this? Why is that? Why do we have, we have some on the edges here, but then we also focus on the center. Symmetry. Okay. We want symmetry. We want it pleasing to the eye. So we're going to also put this piece of willow right in the dead center right the because middle. he is our attraction. He's yes. There you go. Yes. There you go. Now, hmm. I've already cut these for you, but I want you to at least cut one so you'll understand what I'm saying. Okay. Cut it Let's underwater. See if I can this. Trim okay. it underwater so it doesn't get an air pocket in its stem. Have you seen okay. the roses do this? It's because they get air pockets. And how so far down do I need to go to cut this? Just a little bit. You don't okay. want to go too much cuz I've already trimmed it for you. Just cut it a little bit underwater. There you go. There you and go. then now find you a nice little hole and go ahead and stick that in. Make sure it 
make sure it gets in the water. Don't leave anything out of water. Now I've already trimmed these for you, so you can just start filling in all the way around. Now, when you said that with the air pockets and cutting it underwater, why is that? What can that do to that? What can that do to the flower if you so have? So if you get pocket? an air pocket, no water can get up the stem of the rose. I see. So your okay. rose will not open up. Okay. Yeah. You and you can put some Come down here middle. to the center, to the middle. Yeah. Forget and just that. put them all around. Don't be afraid to turn your vase. Mm -hmm. Real easy. See how easy this so, was? Yeah, safe to say you go to the <laughs> class, you'll learn. You're not just sitting there and you're not just bringing out things to and put in the flower vase. You are telling them, teaching them as they go along how to do it. And it exactly. You're learning and it's not, you know, you have to have no prior knowledge. I didn't practice last <laughs> night. I'll admit I didn't practice even though it looks so good. I did not practice last night. I actually came in here basically blindfolded. And I'm not going to do them for you guys. So I'm going to show you learn. how to do them. Yes. So real so easy to learn. That was You're not just simple. going there to get some f food, get some drinks, and do <laughs> so flower and have flowers have done for you. They are the food and drinks will be there. It but will be a great guys' it, it's night going, out. It will be. You can talk about the upcoming Super Bowl if it's on February seventh. Oh, we have the Super Bowl on the twelfth, so absolutely. we have some great times. All right, I'm coming to observe. Even though pretty I was good so far. From over there. Charles, it looks great. Wow, I, I guess, made this uh, all for Peyton. <laughs> What an no. honor. Thank you so much. Jessa, I didn't think you could do it. I wasn't, I was a little apprehensive <laughs> about Charles, but you did it. And you can do it for any other guy out there. Yes, Recap for us again, if you will. Logistics of this class, where people can tickets, I imagine, all, all the things that we need to be sure to sign up to get. You can go online on Facebook and um, click our event link, and it's there's a link to sign up for the class there, or you can just call our shop. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. And again, here is the bouquet. Charles, how do you feel about it? I love it. You need I love it. Absolutely more. perfect. Absolutely Absolutely one perfect. One more, like the right finishing there. touch. Right here. <laughs> that gives Stunning. you a dozen. There we go. There There's my is. full dozen. Thank you, Jess. Here it is, You're ladies welcome. and gentlemen, specifically gentlemen. Again, you can sign up for that <laughs> class. We'll have details on tvliving.com. Jessa, Charles, thank you guys again both thank so much. Thank you. We'll be right back.